I was delighted. I'd been nominated as a producer or a writer or director about nine times. I, uh, I, I was finally glad to get my hands on one of them instead of just the certificate. I was deeply honored, very appreciative. Uh, I don't think it was fair. The comedy I wrote, a, 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 wrote a, to win the Emmy was about a black man committing suicide to try to get his wife's life, get the life insurance company to pay up. Oh no, he didn't have any life insurance. So it starts with him in a driving rain, driving off a bridge by the bayou, killing himself and then leaving a note that his wife's supposed to sue Frank's place because he'd gone in there and they had given him too much to drink. You know, and Frank and the, the white lawyer has to go into black uh, neighborhood and, and, I, and it got real tense. And I kept the jokes coming, but it was real tense and and it was about, you know, the whole issue of should a restaurant be sued because somebody got drunk there? Also, what do you do about people that have always been hourly workers and how, do, how does their retirement work and blah, blah, blah. And, and so it was a wonderful piece. And I had this black actress that I'd seen in so many movies, and I'm going to embarrass myself by not remembering her name. She came in, and she also won an Emmy for the one scene she was in, where she had a seven minute, or no, that's not true, a four minute speech, a soliloquy. So, I mean, if you're doing Happy Days, how do you compete with that? You see what I mean? Mm -hmm. That's what I, I really thought I, I had an unfair advantage over everybody. On the other hand, I was deeply troubled that I didn't get an Emmy for directing.